Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Good! The Bulls win it! They win it! Pippen runs down the lane. Dumps it out the horse. Paxson for three! Yeah! yeah! Rose crosses over the fadeaway. Got it! Let me step back and kiss myself! Oh my MVP gosh, it's time! Over. Windy City Assassin does it again! Well, that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? First preseason games in the books, and the Bulls look fun. They look like they're going to be a fun team this year. Can you believe that? The Bulls are fun again. That's my big takeaway from that game against the Cleveland Cavaliers, talking about that and so much more on this week's episode of Believe in Bulls here on the Believe Podcast Network. I'm your host, Nick Schultz. It's great to be back with you a little late on the show. Been coming off a little bit of a cold lately and finally have enough of a voice, and I'm back in full force to talk about that Bulls preseason game with you here on the show. I'm overreacting. I'm going to be honest with you. We'll have full reaction, full overreaction coming up here shortly. But first, I want to tell you about our sponsor, betonline.ag. Football season is going strong. We've got playoff baseball starting as we speak. BetOnline is back and better than ever. I've got a couple plays for you right off the bat here that I like. Houston and Chicago, the White Sox and the Astros are playing in the National League Division Series. The White Sox are plus 750 to win the World Series. I like those odds. I am picking the White Sox to win the World Series. They are plus 325 to win the AL pennant, if that's something you're interested in as well. I like both of those. You've got the Bears and the Raiders this week in Vegas as well. A lot of games to bet on, and you can do it all at betonline.ag. Head to the website now or use your mobile device to sign up to receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Don't forget to use our promo code BELIEVE to receive your bonus. That's B-L-E-A-V to receive your bonus. From football, basketball, boxing, right to your favorite Vegas casino games, Don't wait to take advantage of the amazing offers available for the 2021 season. Bet online is the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports. Bet online where the game starts. All right. How about that Bulls game? That was so much fun to watch. Now, full disclosure, and I've talked about this. I've been doing this show since January. I've talked about this on here. I'm a bartender. I bartend three nights a week. My three nights are Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays. So here's how I had this set up. I had the Bulls game on a TV while I worked, and I had the other games on Yankees Red Sox on Tuesday night. Watching this Bulls game, every time I looked up, something fun was going on, whether it be a dunk, whether it be some slick passes, whether it be a big-time shot. That's what I like to see from the Chicago Bulls. I knew this new-look lineup would be fun to watch, but I didn't expect that out of the gate. Now, it's only preseason. It's only one preseason game. It was against the Cleveland Cavaliers, but still, this is a glimpse of what this team can do. The Bulls won that game 131 to 95 at the United Center. You could hear Adam Amin and Stacey King having so much fun on the broadcast, and I think that's going to be the story of the year is the word fun. Zach Levine, 25 points. Lonzo Ball, 8 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, and 3 steals. DeMar DeRozan, 13 points. Nikola Vucevic, 10 points, 9 rebounds. Alex Caruso, 10 points, 10 assists. Javante Green jumped into the starting lineup for Patrick Williams, 13 points. Troy Brown Jr., 13 points off the bench as well. Alizé Johnson had 8 points, 11 rebounds off the bench. It was an all-around good game. The depth is a question mark for this team, obviously. Down Patrick Williams. Tony Bradley didn't play. Marco Simonovic didn't play. There were a couple other names out. But that game, look, it's the preseason. It's the first preseason game. It's all about learning how this team is going to play together. We knew it wouldn't necessarily be easy for Billy Donovan to integrate all these new playmakers into his system, especially last year when he had to build the system for Lowry Markkinen, who played for Cleveland the other night, Wendell Carter Jr., and... All those other names that are gone now. Now he's got playmakers. And you saw what the system can be. It is so much fun. It is entertaining to watch. I'm excited about Bulls basketball. By the way, speaking of bet online, 
I do want to look at a futures bet right now. I've talked about this on here before. If you recall a few weeks ago, I talked about betting the NBA season and the Bulls win total was over 41 and a half wins. That total is now 42 and a half wins. According to betonline.ag, that's after one preseason game. I'm still hammering the over. I'm just giving out betting picks like crazy here today. Bulls over 42 and a half wins now. That is over 500 for an 82 game season. So just saying that looks like a good play if you're into betting. And based on what we saw the other night, that number looks absolutely plausible. How about the Caruso is the big thing I want to focus on right now. Alex Caruso got one of the loudest ovations of the night when he checked in. He had a double-double, 10 points, 10 assists. He looked the part. He's awesome off the bench. I'm a big Alex Caruso fan. He looked good on defense. And I really think he's going to be integral off the bench, especially with Patrick Williams coming back from the ankle sprain and some questions about the depth. I think Alex Caruso and Kobe White, once he's back, they can lead that second unit. And Caruso can be the point guard that can move Kobe to the catch-and-shoot two-guard position. And I think that worked really well in the second unit. But the Caruso is real. He's going to be a fan favorite. He already is a fan favorite. When he, when it was announced that he was coming over from the Lakers, I dropped my phone just because I never expected it. And I know he's kind of a meme. We make jokes about him. And I kept joking that he kind of looks like Elmer Fudd from Space Jam when he's wearing the headband, playing basketball. But he is a solid player. He's a great defender. And I think he's going to be a big part of this team this year. And I'm really happy that Arturis Karnaschovas and Mark Eversley pulled that rabbit out of their hat and got him to sign with the Bulls. Another name I want to look at is DeMar DeRozan. So we've had all those discussions this offseason about how DeMar is going to fit into this system with Lonzo and Zach and Vooch. How is DeMar DeRozan going to fit in this? Because he's a prolific scorer. I think he's going to be just fine. He's even said he's not worried about that. He's worried about playing basketball and helping the team out. And I think this is going to work out great. Again, Zach dropped 25. He was the primary scoring option on this team. But DeMar still had 13 points. It wasn't a great shooting performance, but that's DeMar. 13 points. He got to the free throw line. The defense looked the part. They kept the Cavs under 100 points. And again, this is a lot of room for excitement here. I'm really happy about the performance. Now, last year, remember, the Bulls lost their first preseason game. This year, they had their lead was as much as a 48-point lead. That's amazing. And it shows just how things have turned around with Billy Donovan coaching this team. Billy Donovan is the perfect coach for this roster makeup. He now has his true point guard in Lonzo, and he can be the true point guard where he can pass first, he can score, he's got a great shot. He scored the first basket of the game, and it was sweet watching that. And again, I feel like I'm overreacting a little bit. I'm not saying the Bulls are going to win the NBA Finals this year. I want to be perfectly clear. They're not going to win the NBA Finals this year. They're not going to win the Eastern Conference this year. They're not going to beat Brooklyn, Milwaukee, Philadelphia. That's not going to happen. But if they look anything like they did the other night, if they look anything like they did against the Cavs, they're going to be able to make some noise this season. And you heard me say the win total, the betting line for the win total is now up a win. It was 41 and a half. Now it's 42 and a half. There needs to be more talk about how this team has turned around. I am so incredibly excited for this season. And it was just, the big thing was the swagger. The swagger was back. You saw there was a really sweet play going down the court where it was Lonzo to Caruso to DeRozan and then back to Caruso for the layup. It was Awesome. I loved it. And that's the type of stuff you need. It looked effortless. Lonzo with the no-look passes. It was sweet. Alex Caruso out there balling. Zach Levine being Zach Levine. DeMar DeRozan is a Chicago Bull. It still feels weird to say because of how big DeMar was at the height of his career. DeMar DeRozan is a Bull. This is awesome. This is exactly what we need right now. And Chicago basketball is booming right now. you got the Bulls on the up and up. The Chicago Sky are in the WNBA Finals. Can you believe that? you got two really good NBA teams in Chicago in the Bulls and the Sky. I am pulling hard for the Sky to win the NBA, the WNBA Finals. Candace Parker doing Candace Parker things. I love it. The hype is real down by where I live. So usually when I'm working 
I'm the one who turns on the WNBA. I'm usually one of the only ones who cares about the WNBA. A friend of mine and I went up to watch Cardinals Dodgers Wednesday night and the Chicago Sky were on one of the TVs and I wasn't working. It was on when we got there. That shows how the hype is building. Chicago basketball is in an awesome place. I love Candace Parker. She's one of my favorite basketball players ever. Allie Quigley, Courtney Vandersloot, Kalia F. and Copper. What more can you say? Chicago basketball right now is in a really, really good spot. And I'm not even looking at the college teams right now. We can talk about that all day. You know I can talk about Chicago college basketball all day. The Bulls and the Sky are in great spots right now. With the Bulls on the up and up with this new look roster, this fun, entertaining, exciting roster, the Sky making noise, going to the WNBA Finals for the second time in team history, and they're going on the back of Candace Parker and Kalia Copper. That whole team, that roster makeup is awesome. It is a great time to be a Chicago basketball fan right now. And this is before the Bulls even start the regular season. The Bulls start their regular season a little less than two weeks. I'm recording this on Thursday because, again, I finally got my voice back under control enough to do a podcast. We got less than two weeks until the regular season starts. And, again, I'm, I'm proudly overreacting to that first preseason game. But it's just the first time we've gotten a chance to see the lineup of Lonzo, Zach, DeMar, and Vooch. I can't wait till we get Patrick Williams in this lineup. Now, he's not going to be a prime contributor on offense just because, again, he's young. He's going to be great help on defense. He's going to be a good rebounder. He's going to be big rebounding help. But having that lineup out there, once you put Patrick Williams in there, this team is going to be even more exciting to watch. They're going to be must-see TV more than they already were toward the end of last year. I feel like, you know, once the Vucevic trade happened and once Daniel Tice came over, I mean, I was tuned into Bulls games all the time, not just because I do the podcast, but because they're entertaining. And they've got the credibility with Billy Donovan. The front office has Chicago as a destination. And this is just the start. you still got a trade deadline where you can maybe flip some of those guys on the bench and add to some bench depth to make a run at the playoffs this year. This is still a top five team in the Eastern Conference. I'm not backing down from that. I've been saying that since the signings went down in August. This team is a top five team in the Eastern Conference just because the Eastern Conference is not as strong as the Western Conference is necessarily. But this team should be top five in the Eastern Conference given the moves they made. If it's not this year, it needs to be in the not-so-distant future. That this team needs to be top five in the East. I don't want to see the Bulls play in the play-in tournament this year. I want to see them make the playoffs, not back into the playoffs. There is a difference between making the playoffs and backing into the playoffs. Now, let's look at what's next for the Bulls in this preseason. Coming up next for Billy Donovan's group, they've got a game against the New Orleans Pelicans. That's Lonzo's first game against New Orleans. At the United Center for Game 2 of preseason action, Friday night, October 8th at 7 p.m. on NBC Sports Chicago. I'm going to be watching that game as well, seeing if we can get a repeat performance from the Cleveland game, and we'll see if Tony Bradley's healthy and a couple of those other guys who were out, Derek Jones Jr., it maybe be healthy. If we can get those guys back out there for the Bulls, it's going to be a really great game. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Again, a reminder, Believe in Bulls is sponsored by BetOnline.ag. Use that 50% welcome bonus. Use that code BELIEVE, B-L-E-A-V, on the website to get your bonus, and you can bet on the NBA this season. You can bet on the MLB playoffs. The White Sox are in the playoffs. If I'm a Cubs fan, but I'm rooting for the White Sox to win the World Series, especially because they're plus 750 to win the World Series. Get in on those bets. Go to betonline.ag. Believe. Use the code BLEAV. 50% welcome bonus, and you can have so much fun betting on sports. That's the wrap for this week's episode, everybody. Thank you for listening. Stay safe, stay healthy, wear a mask, get the vaccine when you can. Talk to you back here next week for more Bulls preseason overreaction. It's our last episode before the regular season starts on the Believe Podcast Network. Have an awesome week, everybody.